All right, well, we just experienced our first earthquake in the camper. So we are at Mammoth Mountain. We're about to go on another hike today. Where are we going, babe? Devil's Post Pile. We're going to the Devil's Post Pile. Yeah, for that, we're gonna go down to the hot springs. It's gonna be a good day. And we started it off with an earthquake. Bam! Hello, I'm Jacqueline, and this is Nick. We invite you to join us and our dog Trixie on our unique journey as we pack everything up, move into our camper, travel to our favorite destinations, and begin living in the now. Cause I've got no more expectations Gonna take my ass across the nation Been doing this far too long All the time I spend is now too far gone Time to change the pace and lose the face That I put on for everyone else Embrace the change and play the game And do everything for myself So the road to Devil's Post Pile is closed It says no bikers and hikers to use an alternative route so we're currently looking for that alternative route. Yeah. Kind of looks like maybe we could hike through the forest straight across, but I don't know how crazy that is. Is that what we're looking for? Yep, 6.3 miles double. Oh, snap. On this trail? Yep. Oh, you said it was shorter than that. With the normal hiking path shut down due to COVID, we underestimated the distance of the hiking trail, misleading Jacqueline into wearing the wrong shoes for the day. But she opted to keep moving forward towards our destination. So we're told there's a mama bear with three little cubs someplace up here, close by. So hopefully we don't scare each other. Let's see if we can catch her on camera. So far, this is the only little bear we've seen. Mountain Lake Zero is really cool. It's always got cool rock structures and trees around them. The water is usually pretty crystal clear. So Jacqueline, why don't you tell us a little bit about your socks? Oh, I'm rocking Nick's socks. <laughs> I started to get blisters after hiking in my water shoes and Nick gave me the socks off his feet. Okay. What a nice guy. Broke open and I'm bleeding. It was a pretty styling. I'll make them work. <laughs> Middle Fork San Joaquin River is the life force of this valley. It's turned this rocky landscape into one of the region's most fertile natural environments. Thousands of years ago, hot lava oozed from the ground two miles upstream and followed a natural path to the valley. As it was stopped by an earthen dam that was formed by an ancient glacier, the resulting 400-foot deep lava lake cooled into rock-hard basalt. This landscape has gone through several glacier advances and retreats. Each time the glaciers scrape and gouge through the basalt valley exposing the vertical rock face we know today as Devil's Post Pile. 
All right, so you guys can kind of get a scale of this thing. There's Nick and Trixie, and those things are huge. From the Devil's Post Pile, we decided to keep trekking onward to see the Rainbow Falls, and then attempt to locate the lesser known hot springs somewhere in Red's Meadow. I'm digging it, baby. I'm digging it. In 1992, a fire known as the Rainbow Fire swept through these woods. It began with a lightning strike and was propelled by wind, drought, and dense forest. So, we've been a lot of beautiful places and, uh, you know, we're starting to realize that we need a good camera. So, what we need is a um, Canon EOS Mark IV, uh, if anybody's willing to get that for us, it's fully weather sealed and it would be exactly what we need. So uh, if anybody feels inspired to help us get a camera, hint, hint. Buy us the miles. Rainbow Falls were created by a wandering Middle Fork San Joaquin River. Thousands of years ago, the river leapt from its banks onto dry land, and after about a mile of wandering, the river reunited with its original course, a gully that was carved into volcanic rock. The river then rushed over the edge of the gully, creating these amazing Rainbow Falls. Thirty-nine miles today. We gotta go back. Huh. Make one more stop. Yep. Hopefully it'll be nice and relaxing. What's this? There's a resort? I don't think they're open. Bear paws. After a bit of searching, we were unable to locate the Red's Meadow Hot Springs. But as it turns out, the resort was open and my poor feet could take no more walking. So we grabbed a quick bite to eat and hitched a ride back to our camper to visit some better known hot springs in the surrounding area. So uh, Jacqueline, I see you're having a hard time walking there. Mm -hmm. What's going on, baby girl? Blistered my feet yesterday, the whole bottom of both of my heels. And then we got in the hot springs last night, and your feet wrinkle up and it busted open both of my blisters. And then it hardened when my foot dried. So they're super. I don't know how you would describe it. Painful? It's very painful. <laughs> I would say painful probably describes that quite well. Well, they're red and they're like red and hot too, so I don't know if they're just healing or if we got some dirty bacteria in my last night. Oh, we'll probably have to cut your feet off. Just half of them. <laughs> just the back half. So no more hikes for a while, huh? Well, not extraneous ones. <laughs> I don't recommend hiking 10 miles once you've got some bad blisters. <laughs> Just stop. I got a total of like six blisters. The only ones bug me are the ones directly under my heels because they're like that big. Hey, so we are on our way to Wild Willie's Hot Springs. Out here just outside of Mammoth. Spent the night here last night. Dipped in there a little bit, had some fun, and 
we're like on the edge of BLM land. So totally cool to stay the night in the camper in the parking lot over here. And then in the morning you make yourself some coffee and head on down to the hot springs for a nice little soak for your tired muscles after hiking all day. <laughs> uh, Stars was amazing. Um, and there was some lightning over the hills. We got to watch. It was pretty cool. Overall, I give it a five star review. So there's the hot springs right down there. Just a cluster in the middle of this field. It's actually really nice. So here we are at Wild Willie's Hot Springs. Just outside of Mammy. They're free. And they are hot really hot Woo. and a nice little dip early in the morning a cup of joe and on to the next spot and there is our beautiful wonderful home well hey there trixie dog my feet decided to give way Gross. It's been six weeks since we hiked in Mammoth, I believe. And uh, I wore through the bottom of my feet pretty good. And I just showered and my blisters decided it was time to, to peel away. I did that one. Still got to do this one. Gross! That one's even worse! Yeah, because I didn't cut the skin off yet. Ugh. But they've been filling up with sand and water, and I haven't Ugh. taken them off because the skin was so raw underneath, I couldn't walk on them. But it never stopped me, so... Dude. I'm going to cut the bottom of this foot off, and I don't recommend hiking when you feel blisters forming on your heels. If you got to do it, your feet grow back! <laughs> Thanks for watching Destination Now. Please like and subscribe.